Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is Watchark. My name is Simone. I am a 22 year old Italian broke watch enthusiast. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about sub brand or sister brands. Uh, this is a very interesting topic, in my opinion. It's something that I don't see talked about often enough, in my opinion, on watch related forums, uh, Instagram accounts, YouTube channels. I think it's very interesting and I think we should talk about it because it's it's very weird uh, that it's pretty ignored by everyone but basically what happens is and I guess the most important and most famous example of these are Tudor and Rolex so Tudor and Rolex are basically the same company but they produce different watches with different names on the dial uh, this is something that allows Tudor to experiment more and to have a more competitive price tag simply so if you want to get a Rolex you know the designs can't really experiment a lot whilst Tudor is allowed to experiment much more and to make watches that are much different uh, than what a watch enthusiast would expect uh, so this is very interesting and this happens a lot uh, in the lower tier of brands too uh, the most famous example is probably Seiko and the sister brand Orient yes maybe Orient it's a bit different because Seiko and uh, Orient are owned by the same company Epson uh, it's not that clear cut which is the better uh, which one is the most important to us watch enthusiasts and watch collectors it is Seiko obviously but it's not as clear cut as with Rolex and Tudor uh, but for us uh, young and broke watch collectors this means a couple of things first of all that there are out there great watches for a very very low price made by these huge companies uh, that are in my opinion a great bargain sometimes sometimes they are not as great but the two examples I'm going to give you guys today are going to be amazing the first one is this one this is Loris. This is a sub brand of Seiko. Uh, Seiko has got a lot of sub brands, as I said, Orient, Loris, Pulsar, uh, Alba. Uh, there are a couple of great watches in those ranges. This one is amazing. This is an automatic. I have done my full review for this watch, so if you want to have more information about it, go look that up. It's probably going to be linked here. Uh, so feel free to go watch that and then come back here. You done? All right, this watch is very, very interesting to me. It's a 42 millimeters watch, so it's going to be a little bigger. This watch basically exists just because it's this company is owned by Seiko. Uh, the movement powering this one is the 7S26, so it, it is a Seiko made movement. Uh, this is a very, very well made watch. It's got a great dial, in my opinion, I love it. It's got a great set of hands. It's basically a Seiko 5 with more water resistance because this has got 100 meters of water resistance, so it's more. Uh, we have, as I said, Seiko 7S to 6. Uh, we have a crappy bracelet, so perfect Seiko 5. We have a lot of specs which are amazing and you're going to have to find out about them in my full review. But bottom line, you can get a watch like this just because Seiko has made a sister brand and they are very interesting. So if you want to have a great everyday pilot style, field style watch, uh, go look this up because this is amazing. Uh, the only real problem that I have with it it's the day date that cuts out the three uh, pretty annoying uh, but you get used to that after a while uh, maybe another thing that people might have a problem with it's the sizing but it wears relatively well for the size as I said 42 millimeters so it basically allows a whole lot of people to experiment a watch like this this guys can be found on Amazon for around 80 70 euros I found this one at 60 euros because it was lightly used and it's a bargain for that price 60 euros for a watch like this doesn't make sense so uh, go look this up guys because this is great <music> Thank you. 
The other example I've got for you today is going to be this one. This is the Vagary Gematic. Vagary probably doesn't tell you a whole lot as a name, but Citizen probably does, because this is, as I said, sister brand of Citizen. Um, I, I love Citizen, my first serious watch when I was a kid was a Citizen, so I have a lo whole lot of connection with them for that, but I don't really like their designs. Uh, so this is a great solution for that. Uh, Citizen designs tend to be a lot bigger, uh, pretty ubiquitous, pr pretty masculine, uh, very very sporty, almost only sporty. Uh, so this is a great solution for that. You get the build quality, you get the heritage, you get the usability of a citizen, you get the reliability of a citizen as well, but you don't get a higher price tag because this goes for around 130 euros and you can find a citizen diver for that price point. Uh, it gives you a 40 millimeter watch case, very hard to find a citizen diver for 40 millimeters. Uh, it gives you an interesting dial, not a whole lot of citizens have this sort of uh, pattern on the dial. It gives you a very different watch from a lot of others that you can find for a very low price tag. And this is what I mean when I say that sub brands are very underrated because you can find really gems uh, among them. I'm going to give you guys a couple of more examples about them. Uh, there are Pulsar watches which are great, there are Alba watches which I just found out about, but they are both Seiko. Uh, Citizen owns uh, a lot of other smaller companies, go look those up. So bottom line and to finish this video I want to tell you this. Go look up at these more unknown but still great watch brands because they are going to give you a lot of happy moments with your watches and <laughs> going to save you a whole lot of money. Uh, so yeah, mm, sub brands, sister brands are always a great idea in my opinion because as I said, you get the reliability and the um, dependability of those bigger brands without the price tag and without maybe a design element that you are not fond of. So uh, this has been all for me today. Uh, thank you guys for watching. This has been WatchArc. My name is Simone. I am a 22 year old Italian broke water enthusiast.